five heavy winter moisturizers that don't clog pores. If you have acne, you understand the struggle of reading ingredients and trying to turn over creams and figure out what won't do this to your forehead. Do you see this? I don't know why these things happen, but they do. <laughs> but if you have acne and dry skin, then you're up a triple creek. There is this internet myth that goes around that you should dry out your acne, which is not the case. And for anyone who's breakout prone, it's really hard to find moisturizers and occlusive products that aren't going to overly irritate skin or clog pores. Now I have five of the best autumn and winter moisturizers that don't clog pores, and this is based off of ingredients and what works for most people. There is a comedogenicity scale, but I don't really buy into that because it was done on rabbit ears, and the last time I checked, my human face is not a rabbit ear. And a lot of the ingredients that are on that comedogenicity scale and labeled as comedogenic have actually been misproven. Now there are certain ingredients like coconut oil, like certain fragrances and dyes that the general consensus of experts agrees should be avoided. And that's how I chose these based on them not breaking out not only my skin anecdotally, because hi, yes, I'm very acne prone, but I have been a little bit drier recently, which is something we can talk about, but also for patients and clients and other people online who have wanted to to find moisturizers that don't tend to clog pores. We're gonna start off with this bad boy. I cannot believe that it took this long for Pacifica to launch a fragrance-free vegan ceramide cream. This is $16 of purple with golden butterfly bliss, and I cannot tell you how wonderful this cream is. This lovely formula also has palmityl hexapeptide 19, which you might know as that argireline, this really nice kind of Botox mimicker. Now, it's not the same as Botox. It's not going to replace your injections. It's completely different. But some of the brands who have it in their formulas claims that over time it can help with fine lines and wrinkles. Now I absolutely love this formula. It also has a bit of shea butter in it. And the main ingredients are ceteryl alcohol and caprylic triglyceride, as well as of course water, our universal solvent. This is Pacifica's first fragrance-free offering and dude, they knocked it out of the park with this. With the ceramides, with the skin soothers, with the way it goes onto the face. This is amazing for anyone who does have more sensitive skin, anyone who's really looking for cushiony hydration and really wants to kind of boost up their barrier based on the ceramides inside of here. I absolutely love this. And for $16, I wish that I had had this when I was 16. Now, when I was 16, I also wore a ton of makeup and I struggled to find things that would actually prime my skin well. Well, good molecules didn't exist when I was 16, but they exist now. And like me, they're from San Francisco. And this moisturizer is an absolute fave. This is one that I would say could be used at all times of the year, but especially for autumn winter if you're looking for something that goes under or over sunscreen that you can wear under makeup oh my god this is fantastic and there's nothing in here that raises red flags about clogging pores this is the silicone free priming moisturizer from good molecules and this just goes on like an absolute dream it almost looks fluffy but when you actually kind of rub it into the skin it's very nice it's very lightweight and Honestly, I touch products for a living. I've tried and tested thousands of different products and ingredients and formulations. It is difficult to tell that this is not a silicone base. There are some products that you can definitely tell have that pillowy dimethicone feel. This is one that mimics that. It's not overly greasy. It's kind of nice. It does have a little bit less of a dry touch than some dimethicone formulas do. But if you are looking for something silicone free that feels like silicones, this is it. And I do want to make it clear. Silicones have often been demonized people are like, oh, silicones break me out or silicones, you know, clog pores. That has not been shown substantially. Silicones are actually used in a lot of acne treatments and prescription ones, as well as wound healing. So it's not something that we should fear, but for people who do want to avoid them or for people who are concerned, or for some people who anecdotally say, I'm an outlier, my skin is weird and silicones break me out. And that is what I have seen. Then this is one of the best silicone free alternatives that exists on the entire skincare market. The ingredients in this are water, of course, our universal Universal solvent. We have propendiol. We have neopental glycol diheptinoate, which we love. We do have a little bit of shea butter, some different alcohols, and then even some oils. We do have some macadamia seed oils, some tocopherol acetate. And in these products, there's nothing that's going to fight acne. Like these are not anti-acne or anti-blemish moisturizers, but these are moisturizers that don't clog the pores the way some of the other thick formulas do. And if you wear makeup, this one is for you. And what if you have eczema? Eczema has no cure per se, but there are things that you can use over the counter or with a dermatologist to help mitigate it. And if you've got eczema, you got eczema. <laughs> and you've got acne, you're dealing with the dryness and the flakes and the damaged barrier and the irritation. And 
and the pimples, and that can be so frustrating. And if there is one thing I can recommend, it is this. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lipid Peptide Cream. This has this triple lipid technology. It's basically a bunch of peptides and different oils that really soothe the skin. This is one of my favorite formulas, and it is so good. Now, in a recent video, we read hilarious one-star reviews of my favorite skincare products. This is one of my favorites, and some people um, had comments about how it noodles, aka pills. When I play around with it a little bit more, if you do apply a lot, it can pill a touch, but I actually find it pills more if you apply it over other serums that have niacinamide or other things. So just keep that in mind because yes, it can noodle. And by noodle, no, we don't mean that this turns into a ravioli or a penne pasta. Although if it did, I would not be mad. But uh, the noodling, the pilling is not something that bothers me. And if you've got eczema prone skin that is also prone to acne or prone to getting clogged, this doesn't clog up those pores. It doesn't lead to the blackheads and the whiteheads the way a lot of other formulas do. And it just goes onto skin so smooth, so luxuriously, and it both locks everything in and nourishes and hydrates. This has jojoba, it has squalene, it has aloe, it has rice, basically all of these soothing, nourishing, barrier supportive ingredients. And what I also love about Skin Fix, I used to call them Skin Effects, by the way, they're made in Canada and they even said, tested and recommended by unbiased derms. Because remember, just because a derm recommends it doesn't mean they liked it. They could chuck it out a wall and be like, this is trash, but they still tested it. <laughs> they do say that it's non-comedogenic, but again, there is no clinical test for that. But anecdotally, as well as if you just look at the reviews like on Sephora, so many people have tried this. Nobody that I know has broken out from it. And if you have, you know, dry, irritated, eczema prone skin, this is a 10 out of 10 recommendation. And even if you don't have eczema, but you want something cushiony, you really like the spring load, you want something with jojoba and oat, mwah, yes, absolutely. They also have this barrier lipid boost jelly. I feel like this is amazing if you want a lightweight, but I think this is better for summer because it doesn't hydrate and it's not thick the way that this one is. But if you want something even thicker, this one is a bestseller in Korea that hardly anyone here knows about. So there's a lot of K-beauty products that are amazing, right? But normally I get those from Yes Style or Stylevana or Wish Trend, right? And there are some Korean creators that I love to follow to learn about their world travels and products they love and the things that they recommend. But there are some brands and some products that are super popular best sellers in Korea that America has just not figured out yet. And it's because a lot of these brands don't ship or sell to America or other countries outside of Korea, or they don't have distribution with something like a Yes Style or a Stylevana. And I got this from Credithink. Credithink is like, um, it's like an Amazon retailer that actually vets products to make sure that they are for real. And they focus on niche and indie brands. If you love K-beauty, and if you want a balm that does not clog pores for comedogenic prone skin, this right here, I think it's called Lanbell. Is that what it is? Lanbell, Lanabell, Lanbell. This is the Supernatural Cream. And if there is a cream that does supernatural, supreme things for a face, mwah, it is this. This cream claims to moisturize for 72 hours. And while I wouldn't recommend not doing anything to your face other than applying this cream for a full three days, it is really good. I haven't tested it, but maybe we should. But they actually did tests on this to prove its efficacy. The 72 hour moisture persistence clinical test. So basically showing how this penetrates into the skin and how well it works over time. They did a deep skin moisturizing test as well as complete clinical testing for skin strengthening and barrier support. So again, if you love K-Beauty and if you want something thick that doesn't clog pores, oh my God, this is good. I would love to go to Korea and go to the store. I think it's called Olivevel or Oliveel. Somebody who knows, please correct me. But this is one of the top sellers in that store. Like it constantly sells off of shelves and it has for years, but nobody's heard of it over here in America just because there's nobody really who sells it other than like credit think through Amazon. So <laughs> yeah. The very first ingredient is not just water, our favorite universal solvent, but it's actually bamboo water, which has been shown to be hydrating and soothing and have specific minerals that can support skin. It does then have water, it has glycerin, it does have avocado oil, squalane. We have metacasicide, copper tripeptide one, we've got allantoin, our panthenol, vitamin B5, I love it. The one thing to call out is that this does have some amazing antioxidants as we saw, but it does also have some plant ingredients. So we have lavender and honeysuckle and kind of thyme and rosemary, et cetera. There's not a lot. 
I honestly don't smell them at all. I think that's just probably something for scent or for antioxidant purposes, but do you see how thick this is? I have not had this irritate my skin, and in general, K-Beauty is known to be very, very soothing, very non-irritating, very gentle. I find this formula to be fantastic, but if you are super sensitive or allergic to plant ingredients, it is artificial fragrance free, but just keep in mind, there's some plants in this one. This is going to be the thickest K-Beauty product I have ever tried, and one of the best if you are prone to clogged pores and you want something that doesn't do that to skin that has been clinically tested. This really is a supernatural cream and I am so happy that it has come into my life. And what do you do if you just want the basics? You want something that just plain works. You don't want anything fancy. You maybe have extreme allergies to fragrance and other ingredients, but you just want something thick that doesn't clog pores. This is from Clior. Dr. Dre got me hooked on them. They're made by and with dermatologists. This is their night cream. It's the deep, rich, renewed non-comedogenic night cream which again, we've already spoken about how non-comedogenic, there's not like a test for it or anything. But when we do look at the ingredients, they are very basic and non-irritating. This is a formula that I would apply over a hydrating ingredient. So use something that is water-based with glycerin or something like that first, and then use this to seal it in. Oh, but she is thick and she is good. What would you call this? What is that stuff that they use in art? It's not Mod Podge. I wanna call it like spac, spacula. It's not a spatula. I'm obviously not like a big artist. Okay, what is that stuff called? Spatter? Spacker? Spac? Spec? Spuck? It's not spam. It's not, well, is it spam? No. Mmm. Mmm. It's not as greasy as spam, says the vegan. It, it's like that really thick art stuff. But you know what? It's really great for those who do have irritation prone faces. This is an absolute love. The main ingredient is of course purified water. We do have shea butter, ceteral alcohol. We do have hyaluronic acid in here, caprylic triglyceride. We do have gluten-free tocopherol acetate, different preservatives to make sure that bacteria doesn't grow because we love our preservatives, glycerin, etc. This is such a nice formula. If you have allergies either to fragrance or to gluten, if you're one of those people that is just sensitive to everything, and everything clogs your pores, this is going to be your best bet because it is just the basics. And if you add even just one of these to your skincare routine this winter, oh my God, your skin will be so happy. I am very acne and oily prone, but I've been dealing with a couple of dry patches. You might've noticed that like my hair and my body is changing due to stress. And then I have what's called a duplex kidney or a solitary kidney. And essentially um, that might be impacting how my body processes vitamin D. And you know what? I do wear lots of sunscreen and I do stay indoors. Most of the population is vitamin D deficient. Thankfully, we are not vitamin D deficient over here, but we're trying to figure out, is there something that's going on? Because like my skin has been changing with the weather. I wanna make sure that I'm on top of it and understanding and analyzing and scrutinizing what my own body is doing to me. And because of that, I've noticed that I'm actually gravitating towards these really thick moisturizers at night so that I can wake up and apply a light gel kind of underneath my sunscreens. This is definitely a video for another day, but it's peculiar. Especially especially since all my life I've been oily with acne and I'm still oily, like I still have my oily areas. Um, but these dry patches, uh, they're just kind of coming out of left field. We're exploring them. And if you're on Patreon, I've actually shared my blood test results and my uh, complete metabolic panels. So if you wanna have fun with the health side of things over there, you can go on this adventure with me. But if you just wanna go on an adventure to the store with your skin, all of these are available at different places online. Skin Fix is at Sephora, Good Molecules is at Ulta, Clior is online. This is from Credit Think and Amazon. Even the Pacifica one is available at Target. And overall, these are some of the best things you can do to hug your skin if it gets dry during the winter seasons. Overall, always remember to stay hydrated, both topically and orally. Always remember to be beautiful, both inside and out. And I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.